what's good youtube it's kind of look at you hey happy day Woo! and we are back with another another i almost I always say episode but we're back with another wi-fi battle for the united championship league season two this week we take on the carolina care Cal oh my gosh my english we take on the carolina keldios coached by jyt gamer i'm gonna very briefly go over my team and we're gonna get straight into this battle asap I have just here the Excel Gore, who I mean is is pretty much gonna be someone who goes in and uh, final gambits because a lot of his team actually uh, has less HP than a max HP Excel Gore, so that's pretty much an insta kill. Plus we're super fast. We then have Strife, which is a general like Life Orb set with hidden power Ice. Uh, I thought about doing U-turn instead of Volt Switch because of like uh, he could bring his Nido King. But I was like, I can just swap it out normally or just go straight for the sidekick anyway. So I went ahead and stayed with Volt Switch. Uh, we have Fandom, our especially defensive Don fan. I think he has a few things that can mess with this. As far as like physical attackers, I'm not really worrying about them touching this thing too much. So I decided to invest more in special defense than uh, normal defense. We also have Knockoff on it, Stealth Rocks is set up, Rapid Spin to give rid of Hazards and EQ for some stab. And we have our Toy Scarf Volcano this week. Yes, Toy Scarf Rest. Uh, I couldn't figure out what to put in that last slot, and I was like, well, you know, if I happen to come in and try to get some recovery against something that I know is not going to, like, one-shot me or anything, we have that. Outside of that, we have amazing coverage with our Volcanion. Then we have Florges. Uh, I was actually going to bring my Gudra, but then I was like, I really want some recovery, and this time I have Calm Mind Florges. Uh, the only thing that I don't have on it is uh, Psychic. So... Will that bite me in the ass? We shall see. We should be getting into the battle soon. Make sure to go check out Jay. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, I am bringing a Tauros this time. I'm not sure how to go about getting Rock Climb Tauros. Um, because I would have had Rock Climb as his in Headbutt. But this should be alright. Um, his whole demeanor is to have my team fall come in and get a life orb retaliate that actually hurts a lot so we shall see if that works out in my favor or not okay now we should be getting into the battle shortly and i hope that you guys enjoy okay so we're about to get into this battle to see what jay brought i need to open up a word document i totally forgot to do this i am not prepared all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into this battle see what jay has and uh, hopefully, hopefully we do pretty well. This is, I thought about a weirder team that I was going to bring, but then I was like, eh, I don't want to bring it yet. <laughs> so we'll see what Jay has here. Jay uh, is, is pretty, pretty good. And uh, he can be pretty unpredictable at times. So will we win? Will we lose? We always have a good fun time regardless of win-loss and win-loss record. Alright, so... Jay has his Azelf. Uh, I was also thinking about Manectric, which is another reason that, uh, I don't know, Manectric, uh, Choice Scarf Manectric can do a lot. His Mega Caesar, he has his Gliscor, he has Nido King, and he also has his Suicune. The biggest threat looks to be that Manectric. Um, which we do outspeed unless scarfed. I'm still thinking that we're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to lead with our Excel Gore. And Manectric with Hidden Power Ice should not one-shot us. Uh, should not one-shot our, sorry, should not one-shot our Dawn fan. So we should not one-shot our Dawn fan. Having Azelf as a lead, though, that's his, uh, Fastest Mon. How much is it? Special defense. It's not really that great. If he leaves with Azelf, does it get rocks? I'm checking. I think it gets rocks. I think it's like you've seen it gets rocks. But I might as well check. It does get rocks. Uh... Excelgor. But do I want to really worry about... Would I actually final gambit right away? I think, you know what, if it's something I can kill, 
If it's Azelf, I'm probably just gonna use Final Gambit. Oh, okay, so he starts with this. The question is... Okay, this is like a big threat to my team. Do I just straight up hope that it's not Scarfed? Would killing any- let's see. Azel, let's check some HPs here. So he's at 75. Manectric is gonna be at 70. Mega Caesar is 70. Gliscor is 75. Needle King is 81. We Oko everything on his team except for Needle King and Suicune if it's max HP. Needle King for whatever reason max HP Suicune because Suicune is 100. Do I just straight up go? I think I'm gonna just go for Final Gambit. Okay, is he scarfed? Yeah, this isn't gonna do very much. Wait, so that means he probably is scarfed then. That's fine because. Good to know. We can go ahead and. Yeah. He has to be scarfed. I can EQ. I can get up my rocks. I can go ahead and retaliate. Uh, he. If I swap in, he would think that I would EQ. Did I put Ice Beam on this? I think I messed up the set. Ah, oh, crap. So, I need to write down that that's scarfed. Scarfed. We don't really have anything to outspeed it right off the get-go. So we could go ahead and get our rocks up. Or we could get a calm mind. No. No, 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 no. You know what? We're gonna go for a knockoff. This thing is the biggest threat to my team, and it actually really sucks. So, I'm just gonna go straight for a knockoff. The only other way he would outspeed is if I genned my mod rod. <laughs> Which is not unheard of for me. So, figuratively, he should go into Gliscor here. And getting a knockoff on that thing would be pretty, pretty big. It would be pretty big. We'll see, though. We will see. But at least I got information about that Manectric right off the get-go. Because, like I said, Scarf Manectric. That means I'm going to have to be really careful with my Florges. Because I need to be able to take a hit from that thing. We'll see what Jay's going to do. He could go straight into Suicune right now. And you know what it could be? It could be um his Calm Mindset. Which, getting a knockoff on it would still be good. We'll see. If he goes into that, it could be problematic. Honestly, like... Oh, I guess Combine Suicune can sweep most of my team, but we do have Volcanion. So... I'd have to see. What is Jay going to do? I was really worried about Scarf Manectric too. Uh, okay, so what is he going to go into? Please don't go into Suicune. Body positive. Ah! Oh, he didn't go into Suicune! This must be... Okay. I don't want to toot my own horn, but he must be naming his Pokemon after me. Okay, so there's the leftovers. Now. We're at a really, a really bad place here. He could go for the Toxic. Don't really have much to touch this either. He could go for the Toxic, which would really hurt us. Do I want to risk it and go into Florges, or do I want to go straight for an attack? Because this thing, we can't really... I'm kind of screwed. Um... Damn it. Yeah, Earthquake would just barely touch this thing. He could go for a Scald. 
What is our, um, Volcanian? Let's see. We kind of wall each other. Uh, yeah, we, we would literally wall each other. I think Volcano would be the best switch here. I think he'll Toxic, though. But I think it's my best switch just because, like, if he starts Calm Minding... He did go for Toxic. We do have Rest. We do have Rest. Which now he can just Calm Mind back and forth too. But again, what is he going to do? Let's do plus six. Plus six. Yeah, we, we would do nothing to him. Now here's a question. Uh, Cause again, it's a big like mind game here, which he's doing a really good job at. Right now he doesn't have one calm mind, so let's say we're gonna swap. And he could ice beam. I'm so scared of a calm mind, dude. Gorgeous. Well done. <sighs> We're going to have to go into this. I don't want to lose my thunderous right now. This is going to be the most annoying thing. This Suicune. Okay, yes, protect. So the thing is, is he could go ahead and swap. Okay, so we know he has Toxic Protect. He's more than likely not Calm Mind then. Yeah, he's more than likely not Calm Mind. Because he would have Rest and Sleep Talk. Okay, he shouldn't be Calm Mind then. That's good to know. That is good to know. Because otherwise he would literally have to like be Calm Mind Scald, which shouldn't really be much of an issue. Or Calm Mind Ice Beam, which again shouldn't really be much of an issue. I think he has Toxic Protect, Ice Beam, and Scald. Right here he could swap into uh, Caesar or Needle King. Needle King would be a little bit easier to deal with. If he stays in to try to scout a little bit more, that would be cool. But I think he could go ahead and get a swap. If he wants... If he swaps into... I should have just moon blasted. I, I probably should have heal belled. But, again, that means I'm going to have to save my Florges. So, what is his best switch in here? Not Nido King. Kristen. Okay, Mega Caesar. He's really doing a great job right now. So... Right now. Bullet Punch does so much, dude. The question is, is he going to Swords Dance? Or will he knock off?
Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, if he SDs, it's not over. I kind of need the heal bell. Because we do outspeed. We do outspeed with our Vulcanian, so we're going to go and get a heal bell off and take some damage. But at the same time, like I said, we need to... God. I feel like he's going to SD. Nope, he went straight for a bullet punch. And how much damage did that do? That did a lot. Alright, bullet punch, which is pretty standard. So what set is he running because he took us to 87. So he did 53%. He could still be the general set. And now we're at 98, which is 52. I don't really want to deal with a knockoff. I could try to go into my Tauros. But at the same time, I don't really have anything on my Dawn fan that can touch this. Oh my god. I want to slot to my Vulcanian so bad, but if he is his knockoff, he has to knock off now. He has to knock off now. Oh god. This is a really bad position to be in. Like, a super, super bad position to be in for sure. Because I don't know if he has... I don't know if he's got SD or not. What else do I need? I, Gosh, I guess I can try to let this thing go. And I just said that I shouldn't, but at the same time... We'll see. He went straight for another bullet punch. Alright. He is playing really well right now. Part of me wants to go ahead and go into Tauros. Man, it really sucks that we didn't get Ice Beam. That's my fault, though. It's totally my fault. I feel like he'd swap. I'm like, I guess I'm over-predicting really bad, too. Because right there, I would have thought the safest play was knockoff. But I over-predicted. So do I go ahead and swap and then he's like, okay, it's going to be Fire Blast and he swaps and I get a Retaliate off or what? Or do I just go into Volcanion? But then he would swap. But we already know. We already know that, let's see, how much would it take for my Volcanion? From a steam eruption. It would still do a lot, but a knockoff would suck really bad. I don't think he would want to let this thing go so early. He hasn't used knockoff yet, and we're over predicting. So, when in doubt, click steam eruption. <laughs> Please don't press knockoff. Please don't press knockoff. Okay. Please get the burn. That sucks though, because we're using so much PP. He's gonna go for it. Oh, we don't have anything to get rid of Toxic now either. Oh, this is bad. 
This isn't the worst thing in the world. This means that we're going to have to choose something to get crippled. And it's either the freaking Volcanion, which is going to lose PP, 2 PP every turn, or it's going to have to be Thunderous, which is a huge, huge thing for us. And now it's all about prediction games, because he's got two ground types, okay? Psychic would probably be the best course of action, but at the same time he could go for Ice Beam. So do we just go ahead? Oh my god, do we just go ahead and, uh... Thunderbolt here? Again, I'm over-predicting. Let's see... Then, yeah, I should have not let that thing go. That's my fault. He could predict the HP ice. He could predict a lot of stuff, which he's predicting me anyways. I feel like he's going to go into a ground type. He could go into the Seas <laughs> Uh. Or he could stay in. Predicting that I would predict him to switch. And then, if he stays in this turn, he's swapping next turn. <laughs> he is so hard to predict. Oh, he went for a protect! See, he predicted! I guess that would have been a safe play, though. But will he do it again? I think he's gonna switch here. Please switch. Please switch. If he doesn't switch, he is so good at mind games. If he doesn't switch, he's wrecking me. Like, he's absolutely wrecking me. He's destroying me. I want to see the rest of his Pokemon's names, though. This thing is an issue. Manectric's an issue. Let's see. Choice Scarf Manectric. I want to check it against my uh, Dawn fan. Let's say he's modest Choice Scarf. Just for uh, shits and giggles. HP Ice. Yeah, our set takes it pretty well. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Please switch. Please switch. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I need the switch. If he doesn't switch, he is a god. <laughs> he switched. I mean, Jay is still a god, but like... Good switch. Now, does he Volt Switch here, or does he HP Ice? This is where we swap. Because we can take an HP Ice. We can take two with our set. Okay, so that thing's a bit low. It's the biggest threat to our team. HP Ice. Okay. Pokey like a champion. I believe that our best thing to do is get a knockoff. Or do we just straight up EQ? We're going for a knockoff.
That... <laughs> I'm happy, okay. So if we do win... If we do win... I will say it's because of Don Fan being able to take some stuff from this. Because right now... Manectric destroys my Vulcanian. Caesar still does a shitload of damage. Caesar is an issue too. But we outspeed it with Vulcanian. Suicune's an issue. Okay, if I can get... Manectric and Suicune down. That's big. Safe swap here would probably be Suicune. So Suicune can toxic anything that comes in. Or Scald to try to get the burn. Volcanion is kind of my win condition. Mainly. Unless his unless he's running double scarfers with Nido King, then uh, that would also be an issue. That would also be an issue here. If he predicts earthquake and goes into Gliscor, that's a knockoff. Otherwise, Sweetkin's already knocked off. So, yeah. Okay, there's a good switch on him. So this thing, uh, it's got stab, it's at like 50%, let's say it's bold, EQ does about 25. Yeah, EQ does about 25 unless he manages to get the burn. This thing is a huge issue. Toxic might be the safest play, but then again, again, he could... Will he Scald? Scald would give him coverage for the most part. If he goes for a Toxic, that helps us out a little bit better. But Scald's pretty good here. I don't know if he has any special attack investments. And we're going to see how much we do, because... He's not going to one-shot us. Knock on wood. If he Scalds and gets the burn... Oh my god, that's going to suck. He went for an Ice Beam. If he has the freeze, it's gonna suck. Okay, he didn't get the freeze. I guess, does he not have it? Okay, so seeing that... Ah, uh, I'm gonna make a really risky play and swap into my Tauros. Please don't have Scald and please don't get the burn. He has revealed, yeah, Ice Beam. I do believe he has Toxic Protect, Ice Beam, and Scald. If he gets the burn, I just screwed myself over. But at the same time, he doesn't really have any recovery. Needle King's still sitting in the back. I don't know what that thing has. I don't know what that thing has. We need to save. We need to be able to um, handle that Manectric. Because we're going to have to let something die here. It's low. Okay, so Sweetkin's low. Low. Manectric is low. If Needle King is Scarf, it's going to be another issue, though. Is Azelf could have Explosion. That shit would be so funny. Focus Sash Explosion. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> we still don't know if a Caesar has sword stance but even if it has sword stance I'm okay okay let's see what he does please don't burn please don't scald burn me because I really need to conserve my Don fan he went for a scald please don't get the burn He got it. This thing is almost useless. Well, seeing that... <sighs> Tauros... We're burned. We're 
are burned. So let's just hit retaliate and kick the bucket soon. I think you can serve this though, honestly. If he does do this, okay, so I'm trying to figure out his place here. Who would he swap into? Gliscor? Let's try his in headbutt then. Because we don't know who the hell he's going to swap into just yet. Although retaliate probably still would have been the best choice. Could swap into Caesar because we're burned. Cuddle. Okay, so there's Gliscor. And this is why I wish we had Ice Beam. So now my question is, we're Gliscor out on the field. Might as well get some uh, residual damage. Oh, he's gonna protect, right? a little bit extra more extra more extra more damage yeah that's a new thing extra more no he didn't protect could he sd we still live okay he has knockoff all right I'm trying to figure out who can I let go because I'm going to have to let go someone in a moment. I can go to Volcanion and press my steam eruption. Then he goes into his Manectric and presses. I want to see. Can my Volcanion take Manectric. Can he take a Thunderbolt? Because we know it's Scarf. He can take it then. Uh. He has a chance to Oko us based off of our investments. We don't really have much of a choice here. He could go ahead and go for a knockoff. HPS is probably the safest play. Am I in bullet punch range? I believe I am. But I felt like I'm also over predicting a lot, so. Threat 85. What the hell? I'm definitely not in bullet punch range. Okay.
if the Caesar swap comes, he could go into his elf and explode. Okay, he went into that thing. Body positive. So now he's probably going to protect. So you know what? I'm going to go for a sidekick. Yeah, it's his best course of action to toxic stall. He could get the double protect here. How funny would that be? Now we should be in range of a bullet punch. Do we go for... Do we predict the Mega Caesar swap? Or do we just HP ice it? I think it's the safest to go for a psychic. If he swaps with Mega Caesar, dude, that's going to be so funny. Okay, so this thing is down and out. Manectric Volt Switch uh, would be really smart. We lived on 1 HP. It's looking like Volcania is going to have to come in pretty soon. Which sucks. We're kind of in a corner though. Karen! There's Azelf. Well this is going to reveal to me what kind of Azelf this is. Actually this thing is faster no matter what. So he's probably just going to U-turn. I have to let this thing die. Or he could protect. He has Ice Punch. He's max speed. Or at least he's speed creeps. Okay. Would he be Assault Vest? If he's a salt vest, then that would be super smart. If he has no HP investments and he's not a salt vest, I believe he's dead. Let's realize that we're at 152. We'd have to have a lot of luck here. He had a focus sash. It should be. You know what? <laughs> I can really respect the uh, the Azel. Look at him. <laughs> Okay, so that should be... Wait, what the fuck? Okay. I know what where I made a mistake at. I should have gen... Okay. <laughs> okay, so whenever I built my Vulcanian... I should have... Did I not max his speed? Shit. Damn. Son, I fucked up. My bad. He had a, a shitload of speed investments, though. But Azelf is really fast. Yeah, that. Mm. 
I don't think there's anything that we can do. We should be dead no matter what, because if our Dawn fan comes in... <laughs> I can really respect this Azel. Uh... Oh my god, it still does too much. <laughs> Please go for Thunder Punch. If he goes for Nice Punch, it's really over, but I do believe it's over anyways. We're at 55%. Shit, dude, this Azel. If it gets the freeze or like a crit, I'm gonna laugh. Oh. He got a crit! <laughs> oh no! No, I don't think that that would have meant- I mean, I would have lived if it wasn't a crit. I would have definitely lived if it wasn't a crit. But I'm trying to think here, because he could have come in... You know what? I think it would have mattered. Okay, so I'm going to explain why. Had he not gotten a crit, Azulf would have been dead. Manectric would have came in, maybe and um, went for an HP Ice. Now, Manectric is Choice Scarf. Volcania would have came in and killed Manectric. Mega Caesar would have to try to get like some priority shit going on. And um, Steam Eruption kills Gliscor and Niroki. So, you know what? It's good game to Jay. It's definitely good game to Jay. So, good game to him. Make sure to go check him out. I do think that that crit matter. What do you guys think? Do you... I mean, I know that the Dawn fan, based off of the calcs, does live a normal ice punch from him. I calced adamant. I calced an adamant 252 ice punch just to check. But that was cool. Great battle to Jay. Check him out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. We take on Patters, the coach of the Newcastle Needle Kings. I love you guys. Bye!